So I got off work to come out here and see if I could do a little bit, but I'm also waiting on my wife, uh, Delena, to get out here. She's going to get um, a lucky young buck uh, to come out here and um, breed with our female uh, goats so that we can stay in goat milk um, this next spring and have uh, the kids. Uh, she uses the goat milk for um, some of her goat milk soap that she does. It's really awesome. Um, Sugar Creek soaps. There's a, a plug. But um, we are waiting on her. I say we, like me and the, the cats. <laughs> We're out here uh, and the goats. I'm about to go feed the dogs. It's one of the daily chores we got until we can live out here. She should be out here in a few minutes. I don't know what this um, this young buck looks like. But right now we have a lot of the kinder goats and they're not really um, well known, at least around where we're at. But uh, maybe these will start making a trend because they're they're good dual purpose goats. And so we, we are starting those and we'll have some cute little kids running around the spring. Hopefully if this buck does what he's supposed to. So we think this is pretty cool. We've been having some wild ducks visit our little pond down there. Pretty cool. Okay, so here behind me is um, our only source of water out here on the land. Um, I had to find where the water connected with the, the modular unit because it wasn't very obvious until we found this. This plate right here says fresh water connection. So we saw that pipe. Um, I went down, it was actually a soft copper pipe or just regular copper is, is what they call it sometimes, the soft copper. Um, but I cut it off flush up here and then tried to put a um, shark bite cap on it to uh, test it from our water main um, to here to see if there was a break from the main over here well come to find out the copper pipe had uh frozen and swelled up just enough to where that cap wouldn't uh go on there so what i had to do is i had to dig down and this is probably about 18 inches or so get to some fresh pipe because once you there's there's smoky our cat but um once you get down uh to some of that uh pipe that's below the the frost line um then it should go back to the normal diameter of uh, what's ran from the meter. And that's three quarter inch. So I just put some shark bites on there right now and put this water spigot so that we can have water for our goats. And, you know, we just have a like a 60 gallon trough that we haul water back and forth. I think it was on one of the previous videos, me filling that up. And um, we're eventually going to trench the water line out there, like I've also said. But um once I get the pipe ran inside, then it'll just be a matter of taking this and connecting it, but then also um, leaving a stub out here in the yard for what's gonna go out to um, the barn and stuff. And we've got um, like some different, like three and four foot hydrants. And right now this is gonna function the best for us. So that's what I would encourage anybody else to do. If you're doing some of the same stuff we're doing is just figure out what works. And um, if it works good for you, then roll with it and yeah if there's easier ways to do things then you always want to find those but sometimes you just got to work with what you got so well my wife just showed up we got the buck hey babe how handsome is that little buck we got he's on right okay what's up stud yeah. You gonna go meet the ladies? You ready? Is this no. Come on. Come on. No, wait. Let me get him in here first. Come on. He'll get out. Just step back. I think he'll get out. I just don't want them getting out while he's trying to figure out what he's doing. Do 
You want to pick him up and put him in there in the kennel and then he might not be able to get on his feet and drop down. We can, yeah, but That's he got on his feet earlier. I know. Let's just we go turn this fence on because I don't want him getting out. Well, there's the new stud of the group. What's his name, Mila? What's his name going to be? Mob's gonna be the first one to he sure is handsome, yeah. Because he's got eyes locked on her, huh. so she's probably in heat. Probably. He smells like a ruddy buck. If yes, if you guys don't know what a ruddy buck smells like, oh my goodness, it's like body odor times twenty. You're not missing anything. Yeah. So you've come up with a name for the buck. We named the last one Stud Muffin. What do you think, Samson? He's pretty looks pretty strong. Yeah? You like that one? No? Jimmy! What? Jimmy! Jimmy? Hey, hey, Jimmy! Well, he's not answering to it yet, but maybe, maybe he will. Well, he's one goat in the midst of 22 females and, uh, the two herd dogs. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully we got some pregnant goats uh, here before long. Okay, so I'm here in the shed. You can see my daddy there. And I'm just gonna walk you through. Give you a little tour around the land. So here's one very beautiful view of the land. You can see the little house right over there. Right over there. I'm going to show you somewhere where we keep the hay. Here's where we keep all the hay for like the goats. Yeah, and it's full. You can see my mom in there. Am I allowed to come in? Huh? Am I allowed to come in? Goats, hey goats. Some go goats don't want me right now. There are some of our babies. You can see those two ones. And then this is Sugar Cookie. Hey, Sugar Cookie. Louisa, what you doing, you girl? This is my little sister Adeline. And. It's another very pretty view from here. The beautiful clouds in the sky. I know they might look a little dark, but they're actually really pretty, not dark at all. Jimmy there in the back with the waddles. He's new here. He's never really been here before. And there he is. Right there, that Mr. Man. Big boat man. Hey, Jimmy. How do you mind? And yeah, we've got a little more things to show you. These, these are like our little goat shelters. For like when it rains, they can just go in there and have some shelter. I need some shelter right now. Okay. There are the puppies, Valkyrie and Hank. This one's Valkyrie right here next to me, and then over there with the yellow bowl is Hank. Very adorable. Hi. And so, yeah. Let me get you a little closer to Valkyrie. There's Valkyrie. And then there's my hanky man. There's our big buck, big bug man. Over here, I'm gonna show you 
the electric fence. That is the electric fence right there. It's okay if we touch it right now. It's not on right now. But if it's on, it can be very dangerous. So if you get any of these, never let your kids play with them. And then there's my sweet pie. My sweet sugar cookie. And you can see the wonderful pattern. She's got like white, brown, I think black. Is that black? Yeah, like black. I thought she was really cute. My mom's sister gave her to me because I really liked her and I wanted her. That's my little sister helping the goats get their little food up so that they can eat it a little easier. <laughs> so cute. There's my mama in here. Hi, mom.